Um, my name's Caitlin Maggs and I'm from Canberra and um, I'm an electrician. I guess uh, being heckled on job sites is pretty similar to being heckled on the stage, so it's <laughs> pretty used to it. <laughs> so before the show, normally I'll just have a beer or two. Um, today I had a cry, so I might swap that out for the beer instead. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Next up is a Canberra electrician who lives in the same street as her parents, grandparents and extended family. Please welcome Caitlin Nag. Hi, hello. How good is Melbourne? <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's so exciting to be here. The last time I was in Melbourne was about four years ago. Um, I came here with my partner. We had a really fun time. I was pregnant, though, so not that fun. Um, <laughs> no, we went back to Canberra and had the baby a couple of months later, which is also why we haven't been back to Melbourne or done anything fun since. <laughs> Kids ruined everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, you know, in case it's not abundantly clear by now, I'm actually not a comedian. I've only done a handful of shows. Um, I'm actually an electrician. Um, some people call me a female electrician. <laughs> Those people are dickheads. <laughs> my uh, my, uh, my brother-in-law is a postie, but you wouldn't call him a male male man, would you? <laughs> uh, my partner is an electrician as well. Sorry, a male electrician. <laughs> um, his best friend is actually a nurse. A male nurse, a nurse if you're nasty. <laughs> and you know, good on him, he's kicking gender stereotypes from the other side, so that's good. His wife is actually a doctor, so they're both kicking gender stereotypes at home. It's important to note that men can actually be gold diggers as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's obvious to everyone, um, but this actually isn't my natural hair colour. <laughs> I'm actually a natural blue. <laughs> Just uh, wanted to go for something a bit less obnoxious. <laughs> no, really, I um, turned 30 earlier in the year and just thought, bugger it, I'm going to dye my hair pink, you know. What a fun way of letting people know that I'm a vegan who smokes weed. <laughs> I um, just remember that my mum's in the front row. <laughs> she may have a slight issue with what I've just said with the whole 30 and vegan and weed thing. So just to clarify, that was just a little joke for comedy. Just a <laughs> comedy joke. <laughs> I'm actually 31. <laughs> I do smoke hefty amounts of weed though. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Uh, no, my mum and dad are so supportive of me. Um, they've flown all the way to Melbourne from Canberra this weekend uh, to watch the AFL. <laughs> it was just a happy little coincidence that this was on at the same time, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> no, um, when I first told my mum that I wanted to start doing comedy, she was like, oh, you know, <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> No, no. I think she was just worried about how I would handle um, being heckled, probably because of how I handle everything else in my life. <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> no, but I think what she's forgotten is that I've actually been a 19-year-old girl on a construction site before. <laughs> so heckling is not new to me. <laughs> um, I'll tell you my favourite heckle I ever got. Um, I was walking alongside, it was about 10 years ago, um, and I hear from about three stories up this, Oi, show us your twat. <laughs> I thought, surely not. <laughs> so I turned around and I look up about, you know, three stories up and see this roofer, which, of course. <laughs> um, and I looked up and went, what? And he turns down and he goes, you heard us, show us your twat. Which is a ridiculous thing to yell down to a young girl three floors down on a construction site. First of all, her name is Virginia. <laughs> Please address her as so, thank you very much. But secondly, it's just bullshit. It's not right, you don't yell that down at someone. So I thought, you know what, today's the day. And so I turned around, looked back up at him, and said, well, you, you wouldn't even be able to see it from up there. <laughs> anyway, that's been me. Thank you so much.
Thank you to Caitlin Max. Um, I went much better than I did in rehearsals. Yeah, which is when the crying was, so yeah. <laughs>